We've owned this tractor for seven years and I've never taken the time to learn how to drive it, but that changes today. Hi, I'm Sarah and I have a small chicken and duck farm. I love to learn new things that'll make all of this even better. I think you're gonna enjoy today's video. I have seen all these implements set up and used and I have a general idea of how the tractor works. As you can see, the grass is insanely long, so I wanna get all the implements out of the way so I can get this mowed. But first, I gotta learn how to drive that tractor. All right, I know this is where you turn the gas on. So it says main turns full open. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it two times. Okay, that was easy enough. All right, let's get this started. All right, let's get the battery power turned on and then the ignition. It's in neutral. Successfully got the tractor out and backed up over here without hitting anything, which is amazing for me. So I know this piece hooks onto this piece, and then there's like a thing that goes from here over here, but I'm not 100% sure. I think I'm missing. Oh, this thing goes over here, but I'm missing a bolt. So I'm gonna have to go find the bolt that goes through here, which I think is up front in the bucket, because I think that's what Shane used last. All right, I found it. So this is what I need right here. So I gotta detach it. Get that out of my way. This is what I was looking for. So we're gonna start by getting this pin here removed just by lifting that out. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this attached, maybe. so I don't lose it. Try to wiggle this in here. There we go. Whoop. <laughs> Got my glove pinched in there. Guess it's better glove than skin. Put the pin back in here. Perfect. Look at that. That's good. Okay, so now I'm going to lower the hydraulics to get it level with the um, hiller. So we're just going to take this little handle here. That should be good right there. Maybe a little more. Awesome. Let's hook it up. Okay, so I had to um, turn the cameras off for a little bit. They were overheating. So I did get this one side hooked up, so I'm going to put the pin in here. Clamp that on. Then I'm going to work on the other side, which has been kind of a little bugger. We'll see how this goes. Okay. Got it. Thank God. That was a little bit harder and heavier than I thought it was going to be, if I'm being honest. Now we'll get that pin in there. All right. Now I got to get the top thing hooked up. And the tricky part's going to be remembering where I put the bolt because I have no idea. So give me a minute. Okay. Found my bolt. So now I'm going to get this hooked up. And it looks like we're a little short, so I am going to lengthen it by spinning this. 
get it lined up here. That looks, that looks good. We'll start with that. I'm going to take my pin out. I think the washers are supposed to go inside, not outside. Maybe not. All right, so now that I got it in there, I'm gonna put my pin in, clamp that shut, and it's good. I did it. Whew. All right, that is hot. Don't leave the tractor in the sun while you're tinkering. Good golly. All right, so now I'm gonna start the tractor and get the implement lifted up. And I'm gonna make sure everything is turned on, like the battery. Okay. Let's try that again. So that was a ton of work to move this just five feet, but you know what? I did it. Didn't think I could, but I did. But uh, I think I'm going to try to save myself some time and try to move that by hand. We'll see how that goes. Okay, this is heavier than I thought, but that's okay. Ow. Gotta watch out for the bar. Okay, that wasn't that bad. But I am never gonna be able to do that with this. So now I gotta get this thing unhooked so I can get that thing hooked up. So I ran and got some wood so when this um, gets let down, it just kind of lands on there instead of tips over and goes flying on me. So I'm going to start disconnecting everything by removing the pins. Ow! All right, that went down a little quicker than I thought it was going to, but that's okay. All right, now I'm going to set these over here with all these other pins. So hopefully I don't forget about it. Now I'm gonna unhook this. And hopefully not smash my foot. Okay, that's like, oh, all right, well, it worked. Wouldn't recommend slamming it next time, but I got it set down and it fell just as I thought it would, minus that clanking that hopefully didn't break anything. But now I can go ahead and uh, move on to the next problem. All right, that one went a lot quicker, but for the next one, I'm going to have to disconnect this thing. So we're going to start there. So anyways, I'm disconnecting this and I'm going to switch it out with this over here we're gonna get this slid right in here I gotta tell you I didn't realize how many pieces go to this thing just to move stuff and some of them are just kind of 
a little bit tricky, like this one. Just does not, every time I go to hook something up, it just does not go in smoothly, unfortunately. There we go. Okay. Get these pins in here. Oh, did it the right way on the first try. I keep doing it the wrong way. There we go. Perfect. All right. On to the next. Believe it or not, there is actually a piece of equipment in, under all this overgrownness. And I got to get this piece here hooked to that piece over there so I can get this out of our way. So I took a little break because the cameras kept overheating and that was just a nightmare. But now that it's cooled down a little bit, not much, we'll get back at it. So I'm just going to unscrew this here and get it attached. And with any luck, this will go quicker. All right, that was easy enough. Attached. Things are definitely going a lot better now. I am gonna go ahead and disconnect this. And as you can see, there was something under all that grass. Um, this is the tine harrow. You couldn't see it at all before because it was so overgrown. All right, get this hooked back in so I don't lose it. Because if I don't, I'll set it somewhere and then it'll be overgrown in grass and I'll hit it with the lawnmower. All right, now the tough one. I got to go move the double disc. All right, I'm going to try to just pull this one. We'll see if I can even lift it. Oh my God. It might have overestimated my strength. <sighs> Wouldn't be so bad if I wasn't going up a hill. Okay, good enough. awesome day. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'm going to go cruise around for a little bit.